What I want to know is your opinion on gun violence and gun control. Well, first, uh, why do you? Why does it make you feel so bad that they're here? Because I know that we grew up a different way. You were you grew up a different way. Yes. What 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 way do you think I, I espouse? Um, very conservative. Very. Does that make me like a bad person? Like. Um, when you go against my rights and my beliefs, yes, okay. I think so. But so to my person. to my question. Okay. Yeah. About gun violence, yes. what in particular? Like the shootings that are going on in America, that yeah. thousands of kids are dying. Well, thousands of kids aren't dying every year, but a lot of kids are dying. You're right. Um, um, it's actually 30,000 kids die a year due to gun no. violence. 30,000 yes. kids do not die. 30,000 total people die due to gun violence, two thirds of which are suicide, and the majority are urban violence. You guys can fact check me on this at any time, by the way. 30,000 kids do not die of gun violence a year. So in order to be consistent, because you care about gun violence, yes, I do. should we take all the pistols away so that no gang violence can happen in Kansas City, Chicago, Houston, et cetera? Yeah. So all pistols should be taken? Yeah. Okay. So, I think so. so. So Americans should not have any guns at all? I don't think so, no. Do you agree? I do agree. So no guns at all. So we have about 380 million guns in this country. How do you suggest getting them? Um, I think we should just do background checks on everyone. No, 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 we already own them, right? So how do we take the guns away? I mean, I don't think there's any real physical way we can take away the guns, right. but how can we prevent this in the future? Right, but, but that's important. Since we can't get rid of the 380 million guns, what, what are we gonna do? There has to be some form of incentive to get people to give up their guns. In order so like, like, b like buybacks yes. and confiscation? Yes. Yeah. Got it. So do you, you would get rid of the Second Amendment? Yeah. Okay, um, why? Because children are dying. Got it. So thirty. So thirty thousand people. <laughs> got it. Thirty thousand people die of gun violence a year, right? Thirty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty-five thousand people die from auto fatalities every year. Should we get rid of cars? Is that what we're talking? About? Yes, it is. No, you said thirty thousand. That's a lot of people, but a lot more people die because of cars. So we should get rid of them, right? I don't think so. That's different. No, it's not different. It's more people. We care about people, right? So we should try to make America safer. Get rid of liberty. So cars got to go. Yeah. So. Well, but I thought we'll save lives. We'll save 55,000 lives a year. Yeah, and... <laughs> when you have liberty, you have bad things that happen. So for example, when you have driving, we all love to drive. You have 55,000 people a year that'll either drive drunk or going ahead in traffic, but we accept the cost for the freedom. With guns, there are a lot of benefits to have guns, a lot. Like what? You can protect yourself against home invasion. Um, you nine times out of 10, if you have a gun in your home, it is more likely to be used against you. Yeah. Yeah, if you have suicidal ideation and mental health problems, that's true. If someone sure. breaks into my house and steals my gun, that means I have suicidal ideation. Well, no, no, no. Ideations. The stat you're referencing is if the gun is used against you is only uh, true if you're if it's talking about self-harm. It's not true in other means. So you as young ladies on campus here, do you, I don't know if you go to KSU or not. Yeah. Yes. But you have a gun, you can protect yourself against someone trying to attack you. Mm. I also have a knife and pepper spray. That okay, I'm going to say right now, knife and pepper spray won't do anything if a guy really wants to attack you. So a gun is an equalizer. So I hope you guys own guns, both of you. We do not. Why? I mean, I guess I guess you're just, that's fine. That's your right. You could choose to own or not. But the, I guess the question is you must be consistent. If we want to stop the killing, then there's a lot of things we got to get rid of. We got to get rid of baseball bats. A lot of people die with baseball bats, domestic abuse. Got to get rid of knives. By the way, a lot of people die with knives, right? Because if it's about stopping the killing and ensuring safety, there's a lot of things we have to get rid of. But we don't have a government that's built on safety. We have a government that's built on liberty. So why don't we have a government that's built on safety and protecting the people? Got that it. They are safe no, that's an important protecting. question. Because why don't we have a government built on safety? That's not the American birth certificate. Our birth certificate is that you guys can do as you see fit. And there will sometimes be amazing things and negative things that happen. And when the negative things happen, we're going to rally as a people. But that's part of the human condition. So, so school, shootings. school shootings are a part of the human condition. Well, yeah. school shootings are a choice because we should have school resource officers. Do you think we should have armed guards? Not every school. Do you think we should have armed guards at every school in America? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't think so. What's keeping those okay, armed got it. guards no, from so, so do you yeah. think we should have armed guards at the football game tonight? I don't think we need to. You don't need to? I thought we were worried about gun violence. So no armed guards at the at the football game. Should we have armed guards in front of banks? I was in a school shooting my senior year of high school, and an armed guard saved my life. An armed guard saved your life? Mm -hmm. So if we had more armed guards in schools, would it be a better thing? Absolutely. I think so. I but I, what I'm getting at is we protect our money with guns, we protect our airplanes with guns, we protect our sporting events with guns, but we don't protect our, protect our kids with guns. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? Thank you both. I Thank you. I had a question too. Okay. Thank you both for your dialogue.
Who needs a hat? I need a hat. I need a hat. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. You really want me. All right. Okay, can you hear me okay on the audio? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so to answer your question, uh, we need more state agencies to no longer require a college degree when they're actually hiring people. Okay. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to talk loud on this. I'm losing my voice. I got to do an event with Tucker. So yeah. So I'm sorry. It's I'm not going to I'm not going to yell and lose my voice. That's a, that's bad for everybody. Um, but to answer your question, we need more state agencies to no longer require a college degree when it comes to it. And now you're talking about the certification. Is that right? Yeah, like or, you can't. They won't certify you to be able to be like a funeral director, for example. You, you have to a go. A funeral get, director needs a college, to get degree. a college degree. College So yes. that that is a great point. That is a great place to try to reform in the state agencies. Try to say that we'll, we will no longer like require a college degree mm -hmm. when it comes to. Um, certification. So would so. that be through your state legislature? Or legislature how and you... governor. The governor can definitely push that, okay. but you have a terrible governor. Awesome. Yeah, God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. One second. Can I drop my bags? They're yes, around you can. 50 Fine. to 40 pounds. And I've been wearing it for almost an hour now. Okay. Hello, my name's Marlar. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. How are you? Um, you guys can see okay? Okay, great. So, I have a question about something. Uh huh. What's your opinion on Springfield, Ohio right now? Oh, I mean, it's terrible what's happening there. They're eating the cats and they're eating the geese. Okay. So, I have a question. Do you think that immigration or like people cannot contribute somehow to of course they America? Can. Yeah. They have and they can. Yeah. Elon Musk has contributed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know Do you how to do you agree that immigrants could potentially harm a nation? So what I agree on is that the border right now, how it's situated right now, is pretty bad. Okay, we agree. Because <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> I believe that Jeez. <laughs> I believe that the system right now is on very unfair because immigrants that are even trying to, even though they're breaking the law, and we all know that that's pretty bad. I'm glad you agree with that. Like, like the ten years is pretty long. My parents have to wait that long. <laughs> right. Are you allergic? I am very. I'm definitely allergic to something. Yes. The trees. Yeah. You know, like, shooting pollen. Sorry. Um. So. My parents are actually not from here. What They're country? Immigrants. Peru. Okay. Do you know well, where Peru is at? I do know Peru. Yeah. Ah, it's in South have you America. Ever been there? I've never been to Peru. Beautiful country. Good food. Okay? Is that Quito? Uh, no, <coughs> Quito is Ecuador. Ecuador. That's, That's Ecuador. Right. Though it has some uh, yeah, okay. cultural similarities yeah. with Peru and Chile Lima. and Bolivia. Yeah, Lima. That's right. Though my parents were actually located from the Andean region. They're okay. In, they're, they had a history of, you know, they're indigenously tied to that region. But they had to wait 10 years before they can get a visa to come here to work. And I believe that we need to, you know, work on, like, making the system better so that immigrants who really want to work, who are not criminals or bad people, to come here and so that... But do you agree that stop. the American citizens should be put first ahead of immigrants? Hmm. Who should be yes. prioritized? And no. It's a bit of a mixed bag. There's always, like, there's always... Okay. But doesn't a government, doesn't a government exist first to protect and to provide for its oh, own people? Oh, I stopped recording. That's okay. I just wanted to show this video to my sister. No problem. But. Hello. <laughs> really quick, I'm going to get to another question, but just, just, can you answer it? Okay. Don't you think that the government exists to first provide services and protection to its own citizens before non-citizens. Let me tell you one thing. So, who exactly is an American citizen? Well, I am. American passport holders. I'm an American citizen, uh, American citizen as well. My parents were raised me here in Kansas. Even though it's far away from Peru, right. I'm but, a but, born Kansas. So shouldn't the government put us first above someone who's not here? Yes and no. But what's the no? The no is, look, 
I mean, if we don't how many people here are from different nations or different have cultural ancestries? I don't think people can hear you. That's no. okay. I want to get to somebody else. But but do you see where I'm coming from? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Oh. God bless you.